Mr. Crime, Mr. Leslie, Mr. Ben Cooperton, would anyone else like to have their names added to the list? Ms. Chattel. Mr. Crum. Chair, so for four years now, I have heard over and over and over again in my riding that the carbon tax has been making life less and less affordable for people, particularly when it comes to the cost of home heating. So I was very surprised at the announcement last week that the Liberal government was going to pause the carbon tax on home heating, but only for home heating oil and not for natural gas. So why, why would that be? Well, with a little bit of research, one can see that in Saskatchewan, all of the home heating is done with natural gas, whereas in the Atlantic provinces, it is primarily done with, uh, with oil. So I, I think that, uh, you know, that certainly raises some questions about why that decision was made, and I think the Liberals' Rural Economic Development Minister, Gutty Hutchins, explained it very clearly this weekend when she said that the prairies do not elect enough Liberals, therefore her government was not going to listen to the people of that region. It really is shameful that affordability and the cost of living is not a concern to this Liberal government when it comes to the people of Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba simply because of the way they voted in the last election. So I think it's, it's shameful the, the level of divisiveness that this government has stooped to and I, I fully support uh, the motion moved by my colleague Dan Mazier. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Krem.